Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be playing Master of the Manor. It is a game where you'll be stuck in the woods and you have a purpose, but you don't know what that purpose is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Rumors and legends have swirled for years. A mysterious something lives in these woods. I came to find it, but the nights are getting cold. My supplies are getting low. I have found nothing. Perhaps there is nothing to find. Tonight will be my final night. Tomorrow I travel home. All right. Uh, my research notes. Eyewitness testimony, trail cams, audio recordings, even the occasional missing person. This is supposed to be a hot spot. I can't believe my trip was a bust. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take this. Torch required. Oh, my gosh. What is that? A car out here? Press E to leave the tent. Let me, uh... Can we adjust something real quick? Okay. My game about blew up trying to get the thing. Can we at least talk to the people in the car? No? I mean, he's talking about a car out here, but yeah, um... It is a pathway, so obviously cars have been down this way before. Maybe it's just for four-wheelers or something. I don't know. It seems like we're after um, Bigfoot. Is what From the research papers and everything like that, it seems like Bigfoot was the main thing we were after. Just telling from the drawings and all that. Being out in the woods in the middle of the night, oh my gosh, that scared the freak out of me. That's actually more dangerous than whatever you're chasing. To be honest with you, it can actually, uh, it can mess you up. I've seen freaking reports about that stuff. Have you not been in this building before? And you've been out in the woods the entire time? Open. It's going to the creepy manor. Bigfoot is kind of stylish. Can't even lie. And he listens to tunes, reads books. Has a little decorative plants everywhere. He doesn't enjoy TVs, though. Obviously. Let's see. Can we go around this way, too? Okay, so we can... Oh. The tracks lead out here. Oh! You see, I didn't even pay attention to this. So this man's been in the woods the entire time and hasn't paid attention to the tracks and hasn't followed the road. To the giant creepy house? What did you you just ignore it? There's a giant tub and three wheel okay, well obviously somebody's living here and it's not Bigfoot. Doors locked. Okay. Let's head upstairs then. Investigate the manor. I didn't even look at the task until now. What is this peanut butter? Okay. For the for this place to be, uh, like, look abandoned, it's very, it seems like it's lived in a lot. Well, obviously, there's people pulling up, but I mean, there's just, like, random <laughs> cubs pushed over. But at the same time, you have a slice, a loaf of bread sliced up. We're just gonna walk in on, buddy? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hello there. You surprised me. Well... I'm going to be completely honest. I would not act like if somebody walked into my house. Been a while since I had a guest. Hmm. You look like you've seen a ghost. Were you expecting to be sh shoot away? Don't be ridiculous. Think on it no more. It's an unpleasant night. Stay as long as you like. Uh, I don't know anybody lived out here. Who are you? I'm sorry. I should just leave. I didn't know anybody lived out here. Let's go with that one. That's understandable. I've lived here my whole life. As you probably noticed, this house has been has seen better days. I confess that I rarely go down to the lower floors anymore. I used to keep this place clean, but fate had different ideas. What's that supposed to mean? My fight against a slow decay has waned with age. Oh, but enough about me. Nobody would be wandering out in these woods without purpose, and you look like you need warming up. Perhaps we would be so kind. Of you would be so kind as to share your story of a hot pot of coffee. Uh, that sounds great. Excellent. Ah, I'm afraid there's a small favor I have to ask of you first. The power is off, you see. Turn it on will require flipping a few switches on the box. Unfortunately, it is down in the basement. Well, this isn't going to be enough for me. The stairs down there are tricky for a man of my age. I must, I must ask that you go down and restore the power. We'll need it if you want that pot of coffee, of course. What do you say? 
Can't do that. Oh dear. I know it sounds unpleasant, but it can't be helped. You do this one little thing for me. I'm sure of it. Oh, I nearly forgot the door of the basement is locked. You had better take the key. After you are done, come to the kitchen on the first floor. Thank you again. So we just willingly accept and we're not gonna like argue about it at all. What is he doing? Just standing there? Staring? He is. Let's just check everything out first before. I mean, you're trying to tell me that, nah, you see, the staircase is iffy. It's too hard for him, but yeah, he climbs up all these stairs just to get to the third floor. Obviously, that sounds stupid. Let's get down here. Screw it. Unlock door. Yep. What if I just left? He's going to lock me in here. I already know it. I mean, like, that's not even... Hold on, I gotta focus real quick. I'm sorry, but did that work? Hey, buddy, I didn't see no lights cut on. Well, they're on. It says they're on. I can't do nothing else with it. Door's gonna be locked. Ah! Let me out. Okay, I'm good. Kitchen on the first floor. Where's the kitchen on the first floor? Was Buddy lying? Because there is no first floor. There's no kitchen on the first floor. The bathroom. Maybe he meant this. Maybe we have two ideas of the first floor. Okay, yep. That's what it seems like. Bro, the power didn't... Did you go down to the basement? Let's go about it should be on the wall in the far end of the room. I'm afraid I'm not technical enough to tell you what to do with the blasted thing. There'd be a few searches on that need flicking. If you'd be a so kind of give it a try, I'll be waiting here for you. I already did. What did I do? Did I not flip switches? I flipped all three of them. I thought. Am I missing something? Is there a switch somewhere else? Oh. Ooh. Oh, you see, I went over that and that didn't happen. Now, why we got to do that? As creepy as it is. Don't let me in here. Uh, It was actually... It was actually less creepy with the lights off. If you want me to be completely honest. He's got a coffee ready for me, so at least we can trust him on that part. Well done. Must admit, it would be nice to have the power back on around here. Some of the wiring is falling, failing, of course, and a few of the bulbs have blown. But it has been this way for years. I can't fix things like that myself, you see. Anyway, enough about all that. The coffee is ready. Here you are. Yeah, uh, that's better, isn't it? I'm about to pass out. What are you doing out in the rain? Anyway, looking for a monster. Let's just say it. Well, that's <laughs> interesting. I have been here for many years and have seen nothing like that. These woods are quiet. I'm afraid you may be on a fool's errand. Is there anything you want to ask me? Uh, let's see. How did you come to be here? My mother and father were gifted to this house and I was born in it. I've been here ever since. I know the building will soon be ready to crumble into dust, but it is not so simple to uproot one's entire existence at my stage of life. Makes sense. Anything else you want to ask me? Uh, how do you survive all alone? Once a month, I travel to civilization and bring back the essentials. There really is no trick to it. I breathe, I sleep. That more or less keeps me ticking. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Isn't it creepy living in the woods? Life in the woods is woods. Life in the woods is really very simple. I've heard of more unsettling things on the news coming from the city. I'm blessed with a dull, with a dull life. Oh my. This cat fitting isn't helping me at all. I may have to retire for the night. You know, this house is a guest room. I don't want to turn you out turn you out into all that rain. Why don't you stay here for the night? Do not worry, it's one of the better kept rooms of the house. Uh I really shouldn't. I will not take no for an answer. A proper bed will do you some good. The guest room is at the end of the hall on the top floor. I will be retiring shortly myself. Perhaps in the morning you will find me to be a better host. Good night. First eat a drink. I'm about to drink coffee while I, while I try and go to sleep. Should I just leave? 
honestly, he hasn't done anything to uh, to set me off. I mean, he didn't lock me down in the basement. I thought that was going to happen, and it didn't. But I don't know what that noise is. Let's just, uh, let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep and ignore it. I feel, I feel funny. Am I just tired? I would try to stay awake. But I feel, I feel drained. My eyes are heavy. Were you not trying to go to sleep? I'm confused. Later that night. What's happening? Can I get up? Alright, that's him going to bed. Or is that coming out? Was he coming out of his room? Is he coming to the door? He is. He's right there at the door. Is he trying to get in? Did I lock it? Was that... Did somebody lock the door? He locked me in? I can't move. Hey, buddy. Let me up. Why can't I move? What is that? What's happening? What is he doing? Why does it sound like he's right above me? Or is he right below me? Something's not right. I need to find a way out of here. I can't move. What do you mean? What is it talking about right now? What am I what am I stuck on? Bro, I can't I can't move. Oh my gosh. What does it want me to do? I can't get up. I couldn't get up, man. What did it want me to do? You were never seen again. One of the missing endings. Inning two of three. I I couldn't I couldn't get up. What did they want me to do? I I tried. <laughs> it wouldn't let me up. <laughs> I'ma leave it there, man. I ain't gonna try to find other three innings, but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.